G'day everyone, it's Chriso. <coughs> now we're um we're doing a floor, which uh <coughs> some people out there have asked more you know, asked for me to do more floors. Hey Chriso, can you do more floors? You're skipping over them. Yeah. I skip over them. Uh, maybe I have been. I haven't really noticed. <clears throat> but it's just something I find uh, pretty simple. And uh, not knowing, not realising that more people want to see it. So. Here we go. My set out, people, before I go any further, where the hell is the tape? The length of my room, this is the laundry, is 28, 2850 or 2860, whatever, close enough, 28. So 6.4 is a 24, that's 600 by 600 tiles, 6.4 is a 24, if I start here, I've got a cut at that end of 400, which is cool, and if I lay a full tile against there, what's that, 1700? So six threes are 18. There's 1200. That's two tiles wide. And I've got a cut of nearly 500, which is cool. So you just start where it's the easiest because I need to work my way out to a door. <clears throat> you don't start here, well you could, because you've got that other door there. But if you only had this door, you don't start here and work back. Nah, that's working yourself into a corner. So you've, you've got to start that side, there, see my finger, there and you work your way out. So I've got nice big cuts everywhere. It's going to work out brilliant. This is a uh, 15 mil trowel. I don't need a, um, a straight edge or a line or anything like that. I'll lay them straight, don't you worry about that. Now see there's always, uh, there's a grain in these tiles and the whole house, like the ensuite that I've done is running that way. This will match it and then when I do the ensuite It'll all be running that way. When I do the toilet, it's all running that way. So the whole house the grain is going the same way. That could be a little out of square. So you uh, split the difference. I've got a tile going on top, so if I'm not quite touching, I'm touching in the corner, but I'm not quite touching out here, it doesn't matter, because I've got a tile going over it.
and the couch potatoes are saying, oh shit, he's not back buttering. I've been a professional tiler for, it's over 35 years now. I've been a professional tiler for over 35 years. I have tiled shopping centres, I've tiled railway stations, I've tiled mega amounts of units and houses and that sort of thing. I have never back butted yet. The rule of thumb is you go for 90%, you try for 90% coverage of glue. That has been in the book of rules for years. With a 15 mil trowel, You've got that easy. With that tile I just laid down there, I could see it wanted to uh, like that wall is slightly out of square to this one. This is the longest wall, so that's the one you go off. People don't always waterproof a bathroom in the time it takes. Why the hell not? You're not going to get um, the amount of water looking to see your grain. You're not going to get the amount of water that you get in a bathroom and when you get a bit of a flood in your in your laundry it's oh shit oh shit oh shit the washing machine's leaking and it's fixed it's never continuous water but it it still doesn't hurt to um, waterproof your laundry people So all those couch potatoes that are saying, oh shit, he hasn't back butted. Carry on sitting on the couch. I don't agree with um, dobbing tiles, no. These days there's no need to um, dob your, your tile anymore. A lot of contractors still do. They, th they, oh. 
they think it's faster they think they're saving glue not really Right, I'll do these two. I could have worked back, but I've got a cut for my waist, so I'll do these two. And then I've got something to go off. I can put my tile against the one that's laid and get it right. Mark the, um, the waist cut in the right position. I just set out for some more tiles. You watch which way the grain's going and whooshka. See how I never, um, I never ever ever people trowel out too much glue. Never ever. I always put glue on my tiles and then slap it on the wall and when I'm doing floors I never trowel out more glue yes it's quicker but <clears throat> I'm in a um, hot hot climate and my glue can skin very very easy if I'm outside doing a pool area, which I sort of, um, I <clears throat> choose a lot of my work and I don't do pools anymore because it's too hot. If I was, um, when I was 30 or 40, I used to bounce all over them. But too bloody hot outside. Anyway. <clears throat> if I was doing 
tiles outside you try for the shady spots but if you're in the sun you're trailing out one tile at a time and it goes straight down and the sun hasn't been on it so the tile is not hot if you have a hot tile that's been in the sun and you pop it will skin and be drummy every time this is chriso see you soon